We are here in late April at the Visitor Center at Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. The Visitor Center is large and well staffed and has interesting exhibits. From the Visitor Center what you do is you drive on a loop road as you can see in this shot and it takes you up into the conservation area past the Red Rocks and into other interesting geological formations. Driving the loop road takes about an hour, but you could spend an entire day at this wonderful place. This is one of the first stops on the loop uh, drive, showing the Calico Rocks Formation. It's just pretty amazing. Look at the different colors. Get a close-up view of these rocks. And then pan out. A lot of people here. Not surprising. Beautiful place. These photos give a view of the amazing red rocks that form the calico rock formations that anchor the lower part of the loop. They're pretty stunning, that's for sure. This is a view from the High Point Overlook, which provides a panoramic view of the entire Red Rock Canyon area. It's a really large area, especially uh, if you remember the size of the Red Rocks we looked at earlier. It gives you some idea of how big this place is. And here are some photos that demonstrate the size and geological diversity of this place. This is a view from the, uh, near the lower end of the loop. And again, just I'm panning to show you the, kind of the full extent. We started over at the Red Rocks and made a loop up toward the higher elevations. And now we're down here. And uh, it's a really neat place. Visiting Red Rock Canyon is really easy. It's only 18 miles to the west of Las Vegas. We got in with our National Park Pass, although we did have to pay an additional junk fee of, I believe, about $2. I would strongly recommend you visit the Visitor Center because it's just uh, really well done with a lot of exhibits and helpful people who can answer all your questions. You can also see the Red Rocks from the Visitor Center. It's a place where you can spend you know, you can spend an hour driving the loop or you can spend a day. There are lots of trails for people who want to hike and lots of options. It's a really, really interesting place. A little gem right outside of Las Vegas.